chapter two Give a chunk if you need a Bye, your mood turns to blue Gentlemen, welcome to sex. You have just witnessed some scenes from Russ Meyer's sadistically sensual motion picture, Mud Honey, a taste of evil, heralding the return of incredibly voluptuous Lorna Maitland to the motion picture screen. <laughs> you better get your hands out of there. You're going to get in trouble. Why, I give him the look for free. Mudhoney, savor a slice of raw life that runs deep with the flavor of evil. Flesh women carrying on is what they's doing. Never realized before, but you got almost as much as your sister. Your whole town knows you and shine laughter like old hound dog and rotten treating. Like the good book says, love one another 
Oh, I'm for that, Brother Hanson. But anything else is one dollar cash money, Mr. Brinshaw. Well, now you take that caliph and the way he's been playing up to my handle. Adultery! Going home to that wife of yours for a change. Don't know why you come around here buying it anyway. You got more at home than a man can handle. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe he can't handle it. Go on, Brother Hanson. Take her in the other room and give her some salvation. I can pray for her right here. Honey, man, there's only one kind of suit that's right for swimming, and that's your birthday <laughs> Mud Honey presents to the screen four of the world's most voluptuous women. Bosomy, Lorna Maitland, undulating and vivacious. Statuesque, Raina Horton, primitive and predatory. Dusky, Lee Ballard, earthy and wanton. Antoinette Christiani, basic and unfulfilled. All caught in the merciless coils of primitive passion and raw emotion. Mud honey can influence your very life. A rewarding experience that you shall never forget. It's rival humor. Its graphic revelation of love, lust, passion, and sadistic violence surpasses unquestionably any depiction heretofore presented to the motion picture screen. For a taste of evil, see Mud Honey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to violence, the word and the act. While violence cloaks itself in a plethora of disguises, its favorite mantle still remains sex. Violence devours all it touches, its voracious appetite rarely fulfilled. Yet violence doesn't only destroy, it creates and molds as well. Let's examine closely then this dangerously evil creation, this new breed, encased and contained within the supple skin of woman. The softness is there, the unmistakable smell of female, the surface shiny and silken, the body yielding yet wanton. But a word of caution, handle with care and don't drop your guard. This rapacious new breed prowls both alone and in packs, operating at any level, any time, anywhere and with any body. Who are they? One might be your secretary, your doctor's receptionist, or a dancer in a go-go club. While living fast and if you want to end up giving your all, let me call what can is live breakfast, what can is right mind. If you think that you can leave her, well, just you try. She will let on you. Go, baby, go! Go, go! 
let the cookie bro the showboat like that. Go get her. So I gotta get the wet because Lady Cadiva wants to swim. I'm gonna love squeezing you out. That's a nitty gritty. You play God. You'll never make the Olympics, baby. You caught the real problem, man. Eh? She wears the pants all right, but somehow she always strips her gears. All right, you washed. Now I'm going to spit it dry, you. <laughs> funny way of getting your kicks. Real funny. But then you never were dull, Varla. Easy, baby. You're almost a fire hazard. Break out some sauce so Rosie can clear her throat. You're all shook up, aren't you, baby? your own. Hey, don't you get enough of that at the joint? Oh, there's an audience here. I'll give you heaps of this. My motor never runs down, baby. And besides, you're such a wonderful audience. We just got out of that last step and she still got to go into a routine, eh? So, working up a new routine. <laughs> oh, it can't be my agent. He couldn't afford the gas. My desert fan club, I no doubt. Uh, they went that way, partner. How could they with you here? I told you girls I had a fan club out here. Uh, at least 
these things just are not made for long rides. Nice set of wheels. Would you like to look under my hood? Been running some timing trials? We know how fast we can go. Could time that heap with an hourglass. <laughs> Someone mentioned my figure? In that outfit, what's to mention? Oh, shall I set up shop here, Tommy? Do you girls mind if we run some timing trials? This is about the best measured strip around. Be our guest. Might be kind of interesting. <laughs> okay. You sure we're not uh, crowding you, huh? Oh, no, I'm glad you're here. Uh, would you like a soft drink? You put in your hand, no? A soft drink, Chef. Honey, we don't like nothing soft. Everything with us is hard. All set, hon. Clock me from when I hit that marker there till I finish at that one. You'll see a puff of smoke from my exhaust when I cut in the motor. That's when you hit the magic button. Not about that car and driving fast. Driving fast is fun, honey. I don't know why I worry about him. He's the champion of our car club and first in safety points, too. I'm sorry. I seem to be using up all the oxygen. Well, what's your story? You heard the questions, girls. Uh, this is what we do. At 125 per, less taxes and social security. Really? You got it made. I do that for fun. Well, then let's have fun, baby. Hey, the kid's all right. If I ever get a severe case of lovesickness, you know who can fill in for me at the club. Oh, I forgot the time. I'm going to be so disappointed. Well, make up a time. You know, a time like you know. A record. How'd it go, baby? It felt fast. Real fast. I forgot, honey. I didn't clock you. We all started talking, or I guess I did. I forgot. I'm sorry. No. Okay, forget it. I didn't hurt anything except my motor. Here, buddy, relax. The sun's still high. You can try it again. I'll even time you this time, and I got a perfect movement. What's so exciting about racing against the clock anyway? What's it prove? Well, it's like a runner trying to improve his time. He trains his body to get the most out of it. I work on this baby the same way. Trying to get maximum performance. What's it mean if you don't beat anybody? But I do. I beat their time. Is that how you got cutie pie over there? By beating some guy's time? No. <laughs> You're not the type. You're uh, the all-American boy. A safety first Clyde. Are you trying to say something? I never try anything. I just do it. Like I don't beat clocks. Just people. Want to try me? I don't have to prove anything. His car is okay. Just the color needs changing. Like a maybe yellow. I think you're all being unfair. What's so important about beating people? And what's so wrong with a friendly race? Now she makes sense. How about it, kids? A nice, friendly little rally. Just what's around the circular marker? Just three little curves. Sounds like fun. I'll be the starter. No gum, but I got a whistle. How about it, handsome? I'll bet you're a real tiger in disguise. You got a deal.
right. He just lost control of his bomb. Nearly creamed us both. What's it our hero doing out there? Uh, saying he's a prayer? He should. He's got a lot to be thankful for. Look, I better go! <laughs> What's your hurry, honey? He's not gonna run away. There's no hurry, only I belong with him now. It's all my fault. He didn't even want to race. Look, I better go! <laughs> I know, honey. We understand. You want to take your little stopwatch and go home. Those are very sensitive. They break out of balance very easy. Like Clyde lost control? You're overdressed. You won't be needing this anymore, and I think your boyfriend's had his gut full of racing. Listen, give it back. That's Tommy's. He values that. He won it. Good. Now let him win it back. Tommy! Tommy! Let's just time Lancelot as he comes charging to the rescue. What's going on here? Three and a half seconds, champ. You were great. What's the matter? The watch. She won't give it back to me. Let's have it. You've got a weird sense of humor. Try again. I get funnier. Look, I don't know what the hell your point is, but I don't... The point is of no return, and you've reached it. You can still climb in that kitty car and take a hike. Unless you can fight better than you can drive. <laughs> Still drive away, Buster. Yeah. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Come on, babe, let's get out of here. Get out! Oh. Plant the stiff in his heap. He's had a bad accident. Go help her. We've got to move and fast. What can I do for you today? Just your job, squirrel. Fill it up. Yes, ma'am. Right fender, Einstein. Oh, yes, ma'am. I ain't never seen one of these kind before. <laughs> Sure hot. You guys really must be moving on these little machines. Yes, sir. The thrill of the open road. New places, new people, and new sites interest. You know, that's what I believe in. Seeing America first. You won't find it down there, Columbus. Every sleeper, huh? Boy, she sure got a nice tan. You know what them new suits are making? I bet they're helping the suntan all sales. All that skin to cover. Yes, sir. Man, the world's sure moving fast. Topless suits and pop top cans. We got two more cars to go, eight ball. Don't make a career out of it. When the Goldilocks wakes up, we're in trouble. We're in trouble whether she wakes up or not. What's keeping her out? I gave her a pill. 
She's good for another two hours. Well, you should have stuffed in the car with the friend. She's the only eyewitness. Not the only witness. But then you two couldn't really be called witnesses. Willing, helpful witnesses. People who could have stopped something from happening but didn't. In California, they're called accessories to the crime. Oh, you're cute. Like a velvet glove cast in iron. And like the gas chamber, Varla, a real fun gal. Those are not so loud, huh? A chest is dense, but not dead. What now? We've got gas. So where do we go? That'll be 13 feet. You didn't need the oil. What a hunk of stuff. <laughs> hey, he's a big one, ain't he? <sighs> got muscles all the way to his ears. They call him the vegetable. He's kind of a nut. And his old man's a bigger one. Hey, there's the old man now. That's him. The old man, he's a crip. Railroad accident. Smashed him up real bad. Tried to save a girl. Kind of cleared his mind, too. Especially about women. Of course, they gave him a big hunk of money for a settlement. Don't know nobody know how much it was. Never had deposit. Like I say, he's a nut. Don't believe in banks. My guess is he hid out there in the desert someplace. Hates everybody, though. Hates everybody. Of course, with all that money, he can afford to. Don't know nobody like him either. Why, he could leave town tomorrow and nobody would even stir. Hm. It's kind of sad, though. All that money and nobody would enjoy it. Let's split, but don't follow too close. Ninety-seven more books, and I'll own the Scratch, Farla. I'll never knock muscle. But it's even better when you've got bread to enjoy it. And it's in there. Enough to buy ourselves a lot of swinging miles. Enough money to lose somebody, huh? A perfect place to lose anybody. But this little doll's our cover story. Her boyfriend was killed in a racing accident. She flipped. Ran away from home. Her family's big socially and doesn't want any publicity. So they asked us to find the girl. We found her. Just like we're gonna find a big hunk of that long green. Oh, that is so phony. It's almost believable. You don't have to believe it, honey. Just act it. Now, let's move. But let's take the back door.
Get the same thing your boyfriend got. There, Slim. Now you can get as vocal as you want. Boy, that old character must be a kook. All that bread and living in a dump like this. Smash cars, busted out buses, but all good stashes. Great place to hide a hunk of loot. I'm gonna start checking it out. You keep an eye on Sweetie Pie. She gets too physical, give her a pill. They're in the glove compartment of my bomber. White ones for the nod off, and yellow ones for the big wake up. Uh, what you got for Sin Varla? That depends, Boom Boom, on what you got in mind. When you decide, let me know. <laughs> You'll go too far. Adjust the ones you'll go too far, and you'll find your high tech to a tree. <laughs> Sometimes I see her try and figure me. I can't even figure myself. Your brother Kurt's growing away from us, boy. Cooks a meal and then to reading. Fifty bucks for three lousy books. There ain't a picture in one of them. Yeah. And he forgets easy what that money cost me. Just waiting for me to die. Or maybe just kill me and take it. But we won't let him, though, will we, boy? Boy. What do you want me to do, Pa? Get another girl? Oh, it's too soon for that. You were too rough the last time. You gotta be more careful, boy. When you hurt somebody, the authorities get aroused. What do they know about hurting and pain? Paying them back, boy. Each woman a payment. You see anything interesting? What's with the strong arm bit, or couldn't you tell I was a girl? Ain't no doubt about your gender, girly. The question is, what are you doing here? Seems like a week can't go by without somebody messing around. Well, all right, what are you doing here? Besides trespassing. My girlfriends and I have been driving all day. We thought this was a deserted ranch. Spotted the water tower and we were running a little hot. So we thought we'd take on a little water. We're not used to this desert driving. They let them vote, smoke and drive. Even put them in pants. So what do you get? A, a Democrat for president. A lot of smoke up your chimney. Russian roulette on the highway. You can't even tell brother from sister. Unless you meet them head on. I've been gone a long time. If I'm not back soon, my friends will start worrying and go looking for law. Well, they're gonna have to yell damn loud. There ain't a phone within five miles. Besides, uh, if anybody's gonna notify any law, it's gonna be me. You best be moving along. The desert's not a safe place for girls alone. We'll be out in a hurry. But could we use a little of your water? Help yourself. Just remember, uh, there's a meter on that tank, and it's still working. Well, she's a cold one, all right. More stallion than mare. It's too much for one man to handle. And again, you never can tell. She might just gentle down real nice with the right halter. Oh! Oh! Cupcake, we're gonna let you have a little freedom so you can wash up. Any tricks, and I'll be massaging your back with a club. Why do you bother with her, huh? She's a nothing but trouble. I got my reasons. I'm gonna take the gag out. One loud sound, and you get enough pill stuff down you to sleep a week, you understand? 
there. What are you going to do with me? Nothing, if you're smart. All I want to do is go home. Oh, please, let me go home. All I bet that you do. And at 10 minutes later, every cop in the state will be after us. Plus the FBI. A small matter of um, kidnapping, huh? Oh, God, I promise I won't say anything. I'll tell him it was an accident. That's it, I'll tell him it was an accident. Oh, but please, just let me go home. I'll tell them anything. Sure, kid, we understand. And we believe her. As soon as we finish a little business here, we'll drop you at the nearest bus, okay? Why don't you clean up if you want to? Billy! Oh, it's wonderful. Take care of the girl. Oh, I needed that. So what the happens now? I think the kid will go along to a point. We've got to keep her thinking she's got a chance. The moment she comes out of shock, she'll wise up. So why don't we get the hell out of here before she does? Before the old man blows the whistle, huh? That old man is a sick character. He ain't blowing the whistle on any broad under 50. He's got a thing for women. And here's where our screenplay starts to unfold right now. Hey, girls, we got company coming. Billy, watch that sweet young thing. Let's meet the enemy halfway. The less the girl hears, the better. Just cool it, honey. Nothing's gonna happen to you. As for that lecherous old creep out there, he wouldn't help you if he could. You're safer with us. Well, I see you made yourselves at home. We used a few gallons of water and 20 square feet of sand. That isn't exactly living it up. You girls a bunch of nudists, or you just uh, short of clothes? Why'd you have that girl tied and gagged? You get around on those wheels pretty good. When anybody uses my land and my water, I'm around. Nobody's tied now. You didn't answer my question. Should I ask the girl? Her boyfriend was killed in a racing accident. She flipped and tried to kill herself. Her family's big socially and doesn't want any publicity. We're taking her home. Sounds uh, like a matter for the police to handle. Her old man's a politician. They don't want any publicity. We're just following their instructions. Besides, we're all members of the same car club. They asked us to bring her home and sort of like friends of the family. Sort of taking the long way, aren't you? Bringing her home in the middle of the night wouldn't help anybody, especially her. My son Kirk's gone to town for supplies. Might as well all have lunch together before you fix to leave. I wouldn't want anybody to think I wasn't hospitable. No, who would think that? See you at lunch, sweetheart. Oh, uh, is it formal or can we stay comfortable? We never was one to stand on formality. Let's go, boy. That big phony. He'd take any story I laid down. He wants company. Our kind of company. I don't uh, trust him. Just the one call and we got our ticket punched for the joint. Look around, dummy. You see any wires? He told me there's no phone within five miles. We lucked out like mad. Now, don't panic and blow it. Right now, we got to start checking the back roads for a way out of here. And just maybe we might run across the old man's stash. If it ain't in the house, it's out here somewhere. And we may just have to make him tell us. And I'll take care of that problem. So who do I get to take care of? The muscle man? <laughs> Rosie and I are going to take a walk. As soon as we get back, we're all having lunch at the house. Crazy. Like, what's the old man planning for the main course? Us? Knock it off! And you watch that girl. She's liable to go any time. If she gives you any hint, you tie her up and gag her again. You understand? All right already. I'm hip. Mm -hmm. 
Jack and Jill. They make the mafia look like brownies. You really don't like them, do you? It's kicks. But I'm not under contract to them, and I got a strong feeling option time is right around the corner. Don't let it bug you. You just be a good kid. Otherwise, we're both in big trouble. What do you think of our guests, boy? Boy, listen to me. Fate threw us this package. Now all we gotta do is untie them pretty ribbons. And we know how to do that, don't we, boy? Yeah, all that land to hide them ribbons in when we're done with them. That young'un, tender as a cotton tail. And we gotta save her from those girls, boy. You hear me now? We got to save her. Save who? Well, the young ladies. You're uh, early. It's, it's two hours yet till feeding time. We ain't hungry. Not food hungry, anyway. Oh, we're just looking around. Looking for what? Oh, you know, checking the lay of the land. He's really fantastic. Now, he just wasn't hatched that way, was he? He's always been big. Always. I mean, he must work out a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot of that. Show her, son. Show her how you stay strong. Maybe some other time. I gotta stay with her. But thanks anyway. Well, I reckon the little lady and I'll be safe together. Hey, it ain't all that nervous. She ain't going nowhere. Are you, baby? Then you'll be okay. So show me all that, huh? Just a while, girl. Uh, that's better. Now we can converse a mite together, and you can tell me all about your friends. You got yourself quite a playroom here, Buster. What you need now is a playmate. I may not be much in a muscle department, but I got a few things going for me too, you know. What you need is a manager. Yeah. 10% of your action be enough for anyone. I never took no course in anatomy. But from what I can see, you got two of everything and some left over. I don't know what you're training for, but as far as I'm concerned, you're ready. Look, me Jane, you Tarzan. Now, why don't you drop that tree you're holding and let's grab a vine and swing a little, huh? What the hell was that? Boy! What happened? Bubba. Where is she? Now ah, she's gone. Ah, that little girl is dangerous. She nearly tried to kill me. Oh, I'll bet. She's real dangerous. You got a shotgun in her belly and she's dangerous. Come on, I gotta find her. I'm in big trouble. Come on. Yeah, you bring her back now. You hear me? You bring her back. Yeah. Yeah, we got unfinished business. <laughs> me. Easy now, girl, easy. You're gonna be all right. So who's after you? Huh? The cotton pills, maybe? Or, or did your boyfriend make you walk home? My boyfriend is dead. He's dead. You just relax for a minute and then tell me all about it. Please just get me out of here. Help me. Of course I'll help you. But grab a hold of yourself so I can understand how I can help. Just get me out of here before they get me, please. Look, I don't see anyone, so relax. You're safe here. Believe me, I know. Now, what's the matter? What are you running away from? No, you understand? The murderers! They kidnapped me! You're my boyfriend! 
The vicious killers! Wait a minute. Who were vicious killers? Those girls. Wild drivers. Sports cars. Well, how did these girls kill your friend? They just dropped him down. And she grabbed him by his neck. And then she pulled with us and made it is now. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Just let it all out, and then we'll see about getting you where you want to be. Where is everyone? Billy and the other girl's missing. The girl escaped. The other one and my son are looking for her. She won't get far. She won't get far? What the hell happened? She damn near killed me, that's how. She's a demon, that one. She knocked me over. Me, a cripple. And what caused that? Her pushing you out of your chair? Nothing you did, of course. Nothing gave her no reason. What could I do? I am tied to this chair for life. Better you should be nailed to it. How long has she been gone? How long? That's my other son. He knows this country best. He can help us. But I just escaped from here. Do you understand those girls? They were there. Look, I told you to just trust me. I promise you'll be safe. I promise. That's them. Please turn around before they... Please. Look, I live here. Do you understand? This is my home. my father. You're one of them! Let me out! You're crazy! All of you! Nice of you to bring her back. We've been worried. She's a sick girl. You need rest, honey. A lot of rest. Don't you understand? They'll kill me! I'm alone! No! No! Do you tell me? Or do I ask them? What's to tell, son? Don't be foolish, old man. I want to know what's going on. Who are they? Well, it's a simple story. It ain't an easy one to believe. But then the truth ain't never easy. You're wasting yourself on this kid and hanging this up for nothing. For nothing? She's got nothing to do with the money. She is the money. Didn't you see the look on the old man's face? And what do you figure the number one son right now? It's a political thing. Her folks are nervous about publicity. They want her back quiet like. Now, she's going back today as soon as we give him a full stomach to travel on. So why don't you and the vegetable fry us up a nice batch of chicken? Yeah. Well, I guess I better unload the supplies. Where's brother? I'm looking for that girl yet, I reckon. You know he's not supposed to be alone. Oh, he ain't alone. Now, you reckon he needs some chaperoning? Hey, it's only a choo-choo. Don't lose the beat, huh? Come on, don't let it drive you off the track, Atlas. We aren't even halfway home yet. What you got? Some big thing for trains? I'll buy you one. Come on, we've got our own schedule to meet. It's a bad, bad, bad thing. You really are afraid, aren't you? They make him, him angry. He gets crazy when they go by. Oh, your old man, he's nuts anyway. Why should a train flip him out? There are reasons. I, I gotta go. You better straighten your tie, Samson, or Pop will spank you. You got your thumb cut. Shall get this horse killed. Did you hear me? Yeah, but you aren't saying anything. And you're not doing anything. The water's great. You ought to try it. It might clear your head. She's gagged, but that don't mean she's deaf. We're gonna dump her, but it's gotta be miles from here. One stiff is enough in this area. When, huh? 
I want to crack at Kirk first. He's no idiot. He should know where the bread is. We'll be in the house having lunch, but we won't all be eating. You are a long time coming. You're telling me. Did you have fun or did you wear yourself out to looking for a girl? Both. Where did you find her? We didn't. The old man's son ran across to driving into the ranch. One more slider flake and it's wipeout. What's next on the agenda? Lunch. Plus, I'm going to work on Kirk. What are you going to do with her? Take her with us. She can keep the old man occupied. The sacrificial lamb. You really do have the hots for the long green. It's a little early for that, isn't it? The train's late. What's that got to do with it? Nothing's on schedule today. Some things never change. Sound your warning. Send your message. Huff and puff and belch your smoke. And kill and maim and run off unpunished. Who are you talking to? Ghost. Fifty ton, highballing ghosts. And running late as usual. I thought it was brother. Brother? <laughs> brother to what? Are you proud to have that animal for kin? What he is now, you manufactured. What he could be is your son. Yeah, he's my seedling. I can't deny that. But he ain't no son to me. He's a, a piece of mutton, a blob of flesh. He's no use to no one. Well, you seem to find him useful. Well, he's an instrument. He's a means. He's for using in things that humans can't do. I won't do. All right, have it any way you want. I'm not for talking anymore. I'm for eating. Well, if you don't see it, we ain't got it. Everything we're going to be eating is on this table. When it's gone, we're done feeding. Pop All right, chicken. son, start passing that chicken for it loses its juice. What you got, another shift coming on when we're done? Breast or thigh, darling? Why don't you take one of each, son? They uh, both look tender. Forget about the other shift. I didn't know about Goliath here. Oh, he's got a big motor to feed. You've done real good, son. He cooks better than his ma. He doesn't sew, too, does he? Only his wild oats, honey. <laughs> hey, you better eat something. Uh, all that running you did this morning must have made you weak. And you might uh, want to run again. She's had her exercise for today. Nice of you to pick her up for us. Her parents will be grateful. Oh, it was a lucky accident. I guess it was lucky. She doesn't seem to think so. She's not really thinking. But once she's home, she'll come around. She doesn't seem too pleased about going home, if that's where she's going. Oh, she's the quiet type. You know how they are. You're kind of that type yourself. Quiet types interest me. Are you really that quiet? Only when I'm eating. I like men with big appetites. Only I could never find one to match mine. Honey, you, uh, what you eat seems to settle in the right places. But then, uh, you look to me like a gal with a big appetite for everything. I try to think big. Mr. Host, I'm of legal age for whiskey, voting, and loving. Now, the next election's two years away, and my love life ain't getting much better. So how about some of that good 100%? I'm glad for the company. Good whiskey's meant to be shared. What do we drink to? Oh, let's drink to trains. They're big, fast, and strong. And they make a lot of noise. It's a mighty strange.
strange kind of toast. She's a strange girl, Pop. I've got a toast. Let's drink to uh, making new friends. Crazy, Varla. I'd rather make them than kill them any day. Old showbiz saying, you know, when you got him in Frisco, it don't mean you got him in Dubuque. Got some more food? He must keep you on overtime. Well, he works hard. He eats big. You haven't touched a thing. Is something wrong? She's, uh, in great shock. She's had a terrible experience. Uh, it's an interesting case. I'd appreciate your advice before we leave. Oh. Well, I'm no psychiatrist. She looks to me like she needs professional help. I think he's right. And we should get her home where she can get it. Her parents will certainly be looking for her by now. They know she's safe. I'm sure they're not too worried. Probably not, hon. But somebody else's folks will be. All that sand to brush off. Oh, God, don't! She'll kill you! She'll kill you! She killed him! She will! You're listening to a sick girl. She's lost her fiancé. She's a long way from home. She lies! She killed! She killed with her bare hands! She did! Oh, she did! She did! <laughs> This house knows what killing can do and how easy it can happen accidentally. He killed when he was born without knowing it. See, he was big then, even then. And he killed his mother and he doesn't even know it. And I can't tell him or explain it. I just hate him. He needs my blood. My son. Brother, take him to his room. I want to talk to you. It's important. Let's try some of that clean desert air. Excuse me. That was a short lunch. What are you trying to do? Make it a short day? Leave the juice alone. We got a lot to do yet. Look at you. You're already stoned. Yeah, that's right. I'm drunk. And it feels good, Rosie. That's why I do things. To feel good. I can turn myself on a dozen different ways. But you, you've only got one channel. And your channel's busy tuning in outside. You really should be AM and FM. You one band broads are trash. You're a fool. You're bagged out with sauce. But I always leave myself a choice. <laughs> oh, I made some bad picks. But that could even happen with the horses. Nobody owns me yet. If the money's here, the son knows. And if he knows, Vala will know soon. Whoops. Oh, she'll know something, son. That's for sure. You watch the girl. I'm getting our things ready to move. You know, Tiny Tim, when I've had enough of this stuff, it's been known to be passing out time. And it's just about passing out time.
than you looked. And you. I didn't think that you could. Why do you stay here? It's home. My father likes it here. This is where he wants to die. Will he ever? He seems indestructible. You hate him. Yet you're like him in most ways. If you believe that, how could you be with me like this? Because you're a beautiful animal. And I'm weak. And I want you. Badly, I want you. What's weak about wanting? Everybody wants. That's what makes things run. Your father, he wants revenge. You want me. And you? What do you want? Everything. Or as much as I can get. Right now, you're first on my list. And I always try to the top. You want it big, real big. Oh. oh, you're unbelievable. You're whatever you want. Your cup to fill, to overflow. So much of you. So damn awful much. Don't talk it. Mm. Do it. Just do it. Where are you going? What's your hurry? The girl's gone. Your friend passed out in there. But how could... How ain't important, but catching her is. Move it, boy! <laughs> Lot of action around here. Sounds like my motor being revved up, which makes twice today. Something wrong with your car? It's not as fast, and we need speed. What's your hurry? Your little playmate's gone, and I suggest we do the same. How long? I don't know. The old man and the kid are already looking for her. Billy's passed out. Passed out? Get her sobered up and ready to go. What are you gonna do? Come on, Kirk, we gotta find her before the old lech does. Oh, you know about that too, huh? Old man, I hope you get there first. You'll save us a lot of grief if you do. Keep watching. She's on foot. She can't be far. We don't want to miss her, boy. We want to get there first. Oh, I tell you, boy, she's so like the one I saved that day I got hurt. I thought it was a ghost when I first seen her. She's just as pretty, boy, only I ain't a saving this one. Easy to spot. It's up a bear country around here. Not necessarily. This country plays tricks with the eyes. I hope it dulls your old man. What's with him? The revenge bit, the hatred for women. The young girl was trying to make the platform of a moving train. She was late. My father tried to help her. They both fell. Did something to his spine. The girl caught the next train. That's her! That's her! Yeah. I knew it. 
if we kept our eyes peeled, we'd spot her. Come on, boy, let's get her. Don't let her get away this time. Come on, boy, we know what to do now. Just like before. That's it, boy. We got her now. Go on, boy. Get her. Get her good. That's it, boy. Get her. <laughs> There they are. They must have found her. I wonder how we'll find her. Don't tell me you're worried. Why do you stay with a freak like that when you know what he is? Everyone has problems. My brother means a good deal to me. He can be helped. Not as long as your old man's alive. Now, there's a thought. What? Hey, like he's sitting on some bread. You know, money. He's of no use to no one, including himself. So, so what? So look out there. That's what you're living with, a couple of real Boy Scouts. Go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. Get it over with. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Brother! I'm no mean to. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Easy, brother. Easy now. Everything's gonna be all right. You're doing fine. You're doing just fine. I'm sorry. You believe me? I, I don't know. Nothing's right. <laughs> Nothing ever right. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> Everybody's sorry. <laughs> I've made some funny scenes before, but this cops it. You got to win it, the big award. What's it called, Gulliver? I love everybody? Or something from my childhood. <laughs> Are you nuts? Protecting two coops? They tried to rape this girl. Do you hear me? I can't help but hear you. It's over now. Nobody's hurt. All right. After I take her home, I'll tend to my problems. You'll have to be committed. You can be a person yet. It'll take time. Too much time. We could have made it. I don't think so. Come on, Linda. It ain't all that easy, son. You're gonna have to walk a bit where you're going. I mean, you're gonna find it kind of hard to drive without any keys. Where's the keys, old man? Old man, give me the keys. I threw them away. <laughs> you fool. You miserable fool. You'd destroy us all to satisfy your hunger for revenge. And I've had enough of your self-pity. You can rot for all I care. Linda, we're gonna walk. Wait a minute, Nero. I don't care if you want to walk yourself into a sweat in the desert, but what about the frail? Come on, use your noodle. I'll drive you both back. You must be beat, honey. Don't you touch me. I don't care how long or far it takes. I'd rather crawl than... Please, let's go. Come on, Pop, I'll give you a lift. You too, Buster, no sense in us all going, Noble. That is, unless you've got something else in mind besides walking, stud. You're a very sick girl. 
I was healthy enough a half hour ago. Or do people look different to you when they're not horizontal? It's an awful big desert. What's he trying to prove? Maybe that everybody in this world ain't as twisted up as we are. You coming or not? No. I'll take the scenic route by foot. My son here needs the exercise, but thanks for offering. You're a real bunch of kooks. I'll see you again, old man. Yeah, in hell you'll see me. And we're both better than even money to make it. All right, come on, son. Let's get moving. I don't aim to have that threesome prowl on my property no longer. Here's how it works. Everybody's got to go. This way, we're all safe, and we can all go back to our gigs. This will be just another deserted ranch house. Deserted? With all these stiffs laying around? You must be kidding. Kill four people for what? To miss the big pill they give you in this state. I'll take my chances with the gas. I ain't sleeping good as it is, and a girl's got to have that good eight hours. You'd rather have a permanent rest then? Not really, but I'll take the gamble. Who knows, I might get a judge with a thing for blondes. Get out, then. Get your car and split. Well, I hate to break up the act, girls. But I always did want to do a single. See you in church, huh? Let's have it. Give it to me! Much later, Billy. Let her be. Looks like Act Two's arriving. What the now? Just like we planned. Only there's just the two of us. All right. You gals had better make tracks. We can tell when we're not wanted. You drive and don't miss. Besides, this desert climate's not too good on a girl's complexion. What do you mean? I mean nail the old crud right where he sits. Are you out of your skull? We want to get the same as Billy Moo. All right, boy, get me that shotgun. Boy, you in a trance? Get me that shotgun. Bad little blossom, kind of full of life. Feed her gently, son. Put her in the house. Well, you, you better be moving fast, because I'm going to be notifying the sheriff real soon. Scratch. What about him? Don't sweat it. Just get the knife and follow my 
my dust. Go on, go back and get the knife. Don't you think we should take that knife out of her? You want the knife? She doesn't move or laugh anymore. Yeah, too bad. The knife. Is the knife yours oh no no but we should pull it out it's not right to leave it in there You the knife. The 
it's our truck. My brother must have found the keys. What does he want? Relax, he'll give us a lift. That's strange. My brother can't drive like that. It's her. We've really got to make tracks or we're dead. Come on. been blasted out of his wheels and your king-sized brother has been twisted like a pretzel you're all that's left lover and you ain't gonna be around for long i don't believe it you better believe it <laughs> It's okay.
was an animal. Like she was nothing. <laughs> she was nothing. Nothing human. A real Jekyll and Hyde. You saved my life, so stop crying, huh? Me too. I guess I saved my own. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Are you gonna just leave her there? Well, she's not gone anywhere. If you want wild living fast and if you want to end up giving your all, let me call. Put the cat is living reckless, put the cat is right high. If you think that you can dream up, well, just you try. That she doesn't say what's wrong from wrong. She's running fast and free, child of the night. In her life, there'll be no time for love. You never take her, make up your mind. You will find pussy cat. She's living reckless. Pussy cat. She's right high. If you think that you can tame her. Just you try, yeah, just you try, come on and come on and try, yeah, come on and try, yeah, come on and try. Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> I like the desert. I like the dry air. It's very invigorating. I like the idea of having things hard. I don't like it to be easy. I like to slog up a mountain and carry the camera myself. And, and try to outwit the actors, uh, those that are trying to conduct something, some assignation that evening when I can pry them apart and make sure they get plenty of sleep, you know, not have problems the next day. All of that stuff charms me, and I, I'm, I'm a militarist at heart. I like that kind of stuff. The sleaziest movies in the history of the world were about to get a lot sleazier, but that's another story. I'm Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the college girl has taken her two-piece bikini and jumped on the last plane back to the States. The falcon has molted, the fat man bowls alone. But the drive-in will never... But the drive-in will never die.